there's my spread. Not too shabby. So for dinner, I'm just gonna do something really simple. I'm just gonna do some ramen. And I'm gonna make half of a crystal light to have something to drink other than water. We're just gonna do like half of it because I don't have a full water bottle. I guess we're doing all of it. it feels so good to be at a different spot. As much as I loved that spot, it was so dusty. And this place is dusty too, but I don't know, it just doesn't seem to be that bad. And I've got some incredible views over there. Wow. And I got cell phone service so I can work tomorrow. But yeah, I'm just gonna make some some ramen. This brand because it doesn't have any of that TH whatever it is. It's literally like all healthy stuff. What a chilly day. It has been cold today. Not like freezing cold, but just chilly. Perfect weather for chili. I might make chili tonight. I have the ingredients. And that sounds really good actually. So chilly it is on this chilly day. Uh, the sun came out earlier today and it was really nice because it had rained and thunderstormed really loud all night long. And it was really awesome being inside of the tent. We didn't really hear the wind. I heard the thunder, of course, but we slept pretty well. No wind flapping noise, so I have to give this tent credit so far. Seems to be pretty nice in all of the different types of weather. I uh, haven't had snow in it yet, but at least for thunderstorms and wind, it did really well. But last night was pretty eventful. We, we had a rough patch, the dogs and I. Uh, not so much Pike. Pike is a master of going up and down the ramp, <laughs> which is very surprising to me. He is so totally snoring right now. So if you hear snoring, it's Pike. He's right here snoring. Yeah, Agron is not a fan of the ramp. And Agron has anxiety and he's a very neurotic. Love him to death, but he's very neurotic. And gets worked up about stuff and it takes him a long time to settle down. He does not like going up and down the ramp. So I definitely need to buy a or create some type of a better system for the dogs to go up than my yoga mat and a thermo rest sleeping pad. It's just not sturdy. It does the job down. I clamp it on four sides. It's sturdy. It's not going anywhere. It's just a little awkward and Agron doesn't really like it. So he decided that he wanted to throw a fit last night when I was trying to let them to go out to the bathroom one final time and it's like pitch black by seven o'clock here now so it was like super dark uh had flashlights going and uh agron decided that he didn't want to come down so i went up to help him come down and as we were halfway down the ramp he decides to jump off and take me with him so i did fall off the ladder but it it's not a big deal i'm not hurt or anything nobody got hurt nothing got broken it was just like a i mean it was only like a foot so you know i just kind of like fell off of it it wasn't like i smacked my face like I did on the deck of my camper. <laughs> if you haven't seen that video, go check that out. He uh, did not have a leash on him because I had him by the collar and I was helping him down. He decided that he was just going to run off at like 745 pitch black in the middle of nowhere in a wilderness area with coyotes howling and cows everywhere. Yeah. 
that's what my dog decided to do last night. So this just goes to show that for all of those who have commented, oh, you need to let your dogs off leash, blah, blah, blah. No, because they don't listen when they're off the leash. Now I know that that's a training issue. I could have trained them. I know this, but uh, since I haven't, I take extra precautions to keep everybody safe. And so Agron was off leash in the middle of the night. I couldn't see anything, even with flashlights. Uh, thankfully, I caught wind of him by the lights glowing uh, on the light, and I was able to keep an eye on him. But then he'd disappear, and then he'd come up right behind me, and then he'd disappear again, and I'd try to catch him, and he'd run away. He thought it was a game. I tried treats. I tried food. I even tried opening the car door to pretend like we were going to go for a drive because he loves getting in the car going on road trips. Like, it is his favorite thing. Any other time that he's gotten out, open that car door, and he is coming right on back full speed ahead. Did not work last night. So I was like really stressed out for like about 30 minutes or so trying to get this dog to come back in. Finally, a treat did end up working. I threw it halfway between him and I and was able to get a hold of his collar um, and put the leash on him and then kind of recover from the events. Um, but Pike seems to be doing really well. So I have hopes for Agron. I think he just, the thunder and everything going on, I think he was a little stressed out. Um, but then again, this morning we were getting out of the camper and he decides that he doesn't want to take the ramp. And so he just jumped off the, the rooftop tent. I, you, I mean, I don't know how to describe the feeling I had watching my dog jump like five feet down, five and a half feet down, or even more than that, probably like almost six feet off the ground, off the ground. Um, it was all in slow motion. I could see it happening before I could react. And I was just like, sorry, my memory card got full. <laughs> anyway, so I was like watching it slow motion, like, no, don't. I tried to get him before he jumped off and he was just jumping. And I'm just like, he's going to break a leg. Thankfully he was fine. No damage. This dog, he's almost nine years old and German Shepherds don't live that long. Uh, you know, like 12 years or something like that. So like, I'm thinking like, Oh my God, my dog's like going to die. <laughs> he's going to break every bone and we're going to go to the vet. And I was like, no, he was fine. He just jumped right off. Scared me to death. Pike was like, is that an option? And like, I could just see Pike being like, Oh, can I jump off the tent? I'm like, you're not jumping off the tent. Anyways, again, Agron off leash, but thankfully he responded immediately to food. So I do think my dogs are trainable to go off the leash. I think it's a lot of it is just me being nervous and paranoid. Um, so I, you know, I, I just think that maybe in time I'll get to that comfort level, but like here would be a fine place to let them off the leash. It's a wide open area. Well, I mean, there's trees, but it's like pretty flat. I mean, there's wilderness around, but I could like, I could see where they're going for, you know, a little bit in each direction. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, I, I don't want anything to happen to my dogs and I don't want anything to happen because of my dogs. So we'll see how all that fares. But, um, yeah, so it's been very eventful with the tent and, um, we're getting the hang of it, but now I have to break the habit of not jumping off the freaking tent. I'm a little nervous about that. So it's something I'm working on since it's a chilly fall day. I mean, it is gorgeous. There's color everywhere. I am in absolute heaven. You guys, this is I, I, this is what I love. Fall is my favorite season and I did not have a backpacking trip uh, scheduled for the fall this year because I have a work conflict. So I was really disappointed that I wasn't able to go out into the wilderness and go on a backpacking trip this fall, but I'm at least able to come out here and experience it, be at camp and maybe do a weekend getaway um, with the dogs. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, so much unknowns at this moment. And right now I'm just trying not to freeze in 40 degree weather. So um, I definitely came from like the nineties to forties and it's definitely been an adjustment, but yesterday I was in the seventies and it was really hot. So I'm still hopeful that it's not like going to go straight into winter because that's the one thing that I was really nervous about. I was like, you know, I've adjusted to this nomadic life. I started in the end of winter and I'm, I'm almost going into winter again. And, um, I got out of my rhythm and so I had to leave 
the cooler temperatures in August. And I went to a place that, to Kentucky where it was still like 90s and severe humidity and it was still really, really hot. So like I, I kind of lost my adjustment. So like I come back here and I'm like, it's like 50 degrees and I'm freezing. So I'm like, okay, I need to acclimate <laughs> to this weather before it goes straight into winter. So I am thankful that I was able to, to go. But I'm going to go ahead and start making some chili. I do have to change my memory card because it's about to die. Um, so I don't want to be mid-sentence and it die. But I am going to go make some chili for dinner tonight. So I'll see you in a bit. You guys, it is so cold. <laughs> it's windy. I'm gonna chop up some veggies and cook. <laughs> It's kind of nice having a light bar so I can see. <laughs> I'm so freaking stoked. I got Agron up there with no issues. <sighs> Pike was like, let me up, let me up. So they're both enjoying a sweet little treat. And we're up in the tent. It sounds like a storm's rolling in and it's a bit windy, but it's not too bad up here. It's just kind of moving. I think I'm gonna name her Chalupa, but she got a bath today. <laughs> <laughs> 